And welcome to this Illinois Wesleyan Titan Coaches Show. I'm Eric Stock, joined by Kyle Scholes, the head men's soccer coach here at Illinois Wesleyan. Coach, good to have you here. Good to be back. Thank you. Let's take a look at the first week as you traveled to New York in uh, Rochester and ended up uh, with a tie in the second match. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at the opener as you face the host in uh, Rochester, some old uh, stomping grounds uh, for you and uh, following two to nothing in the Flower City Classic. Yeah, they're a very good side uh, year in and year out. Um, they've been to the NCAA tournament regularly for the last, last decade now uh, and they're a very strong side. So. Just to be uh, be competitive in that match, I felt pretty good about. Uh, but at the same time, I didn't feel like we played our best. I thought we were a bit timid. Um, and I'd like to see us uh, have a better response when we go up against good teams uh, right from the get-go. And coaches typically hope or expect that the best improvement will come from game one going to game two. You had mm -hmm. to get right back out there the next day against St. John Fisher and had the early lead. And then uh, that got away from you in the second uh, half and you ended up uh, with a tie there. Yeah, I thought game two the guys played uh, very, very well for the majority of the match. We were the better side, um, outshot St. John Fisher, but then uh, we, we let them back in uh, and I told the guys when it was 2-0 that the, the next team to score would, would really have the advantage uh, and they were able to put one in and then it was backs to the wall for us for the last 15, 20 minutes or so and they were able to sneak another one in. Um, you know, it, it's disappointing given that we had the opportunity in, uh, to win that match, but I think that uh, as long as we can learn from it and don't let it happen again, then it will be worth it. And just share your thoughts on the entire experience for the team, their, their one long distance trip of the season. Yeah, the trip as a whole was great. Uh, we didn't have any overnight trips last year, so, uh, you know, to get the guys in a hotel room and, and do some team bonding, uh, we took the team to Niagara Falls. Uh, for some sightseeing. So really, uh, you know, as our athletic department really focuses on the student athlete experience as a whole, I think they really got it. They, they got to play two quality teams that had been in the NCAA tournament last year. Uh, and then they got to see this magnificent natural um, spectrum, which was really cool. They were amazed by it. Yeah, that, uh, that is a quite a sight. Been up there that was a number of years ago, but that is an impressive sight. But you feel that uh, the, the sort of the bonding experience that comes from a trip like that and, and getting the team to think at a team concept is something that will pay off as the season rolls along? Yeah, I think so. I think just playing, uh, you know, a weekend where we have back-to-back -back games against very strong opponents is something that will uh, help prepare us for CCIW play. Um, I think the week that we've got coming ahead now with, uh, Benedictine, who was in the Sweet 16, and University of Dubuque on Saturday, who was in the second round. Uh, you know, that's what we were looking for from this year. We've got uh, a young group, but a lot of returners, and we wanted to challenge ourselves, and we're doing it right from the start. As you indicated, uh, the uh, first two home matches mm -hmm. uh, of the year are coming up, uh, first on Wednesday night against Benedictine and Dubuque. Uh, where, where do you feel the team needs to uh, have the most improvement to take that next step now? I think uh, defensively we really need to be uh, a lot more locked down uh, and, and tighten things up, close some gaps on the back line. Um, outside of that, I think that, uh, you know, obviously taking advantage of our scoring opportunities uh, would be very good for us. I think we've created a good amount of them, but now we just need to bury our chances. All right, so Benedictine uh, next up for the home opener on Wednesday night. Coach, uh, best of luck. Thank you very much.